Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Uh, we're back in front mission. I've got my coffee. I see everybody's coming in already. Hello, Sonaris, Mr. Watts, Poggies, Senbees. Good morning to all of you. Hope all of you are having a good start to your day. Uh, thank you for cleaning those gears, Poggy Woggies. Ivory, welcome in, friend. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for the lurk. Uh, we're here in, let's see, we're in Shanghai. Uh, that's why I call it Shanghai Shopping. I don't know how much of the story I'm going to get through, but I'm definitely going to run some simulators and get some cash. <laughs> I'd like to buy some new parts, and we have a whole bunch of Vanzers and things to test. So we'll be doing, well, a variety of things, I suppose. We also unlocked a couple websites. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else happened. We might have upgrades. I can't remember that either. <laughs> uh, last night was a little rough. The truck was rushed, but we managed to get it done. Uh, and I got up a little earlier than intended. I don't know why. My brain just decided that I should get up very early. So I'm on my second cup of coffee. Um, hello. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Watts, for all of the, uh, the emote cheers. I will cheer back with our favorite people from uh, Front Mission. There we go. And the other one just got selected accidentally. Because <laughs> of my most used uh, emotes. Uh, let's see. Oh, and last night we had a wonderful time with Inquisitor Nem. We played World of Warships last night. That was a lot of fun. I'm hoping to do more of that. Uh, other announcements. Uh, not that I can quite think of. We've been working in the Discord. If you're not in there and you want an invite, here you go. I've been doing lots of work in there and changing some stuff. Um, and it's also one of the better places to keep up with channel updates and our friends. The only other thing I can think of is I may, I don't want to, but I might have to cancel this evening only because I have a lot of in real life paperwork to handle here at the house and it's beginning to get a little overbearing so I I might not cancel but I might have to move uh, that back oh and my capture card just did the thing it did the other day I'm glad it did it here though on the screen uh, the other day it did the exact same thing the sound just cut out for some reason I may have to relink it. Doesn't do it all the time, just every now and then. Okay, there it's back. Uh, why are small children falling over really funny? I don't know, Pocky Walkies. <laughs> Maybe because they're not expecting it. But most little, little, if you're talking about really young children who are learning to walk, that's pretty typical. <laughs> you know, I might uh, be because it is the most relatable thing we have with them. We've been in that shoe kind of lap. Yes, I think that's what it is. We all tripped and fell when we were kids and learning to walk and run. Okay, let me switch the screen over. We can chat while we're doing some battles and grinding up some money we already talked to the shopkeeper uh, we can buy stuff here I don't remember there's some new parts here ah yes that's what I was looking at when we were last here we have the uh, I think that's the German company and there's some really good pieces in there and I also have oh where is it I set up a new machine the other day and I forgot. We don't even have a name for it. I don't have any weapons. I have no name. So I might have to get one of you all to help me name this and figure out what we're going to do with it. wonder what this mech should be armed with. I typically allow everybody to help me build the new mechs. I haven't tried uh, Spiderbot on this playthrough. I've used them in the past, but not very extensively. Uh, the uh, AI mech 
in No Man's Sky is neat. Oh, I saw your post about that, Poggies, in the Discord. I hope you're having fun with the update. Because you had said that mechs were part of the update. Uh, does it go with you on your ship while you're traveling? Or is it something you, like, summon? I didn't know how they implemented it. Sadly, I know very little about No Man's Sky. I've not played it. I've seen it played a few times. And I know our friend Ashino likes it. Uh, the update notes for No Man's Sky says the mech is forever loyal to the pilot. Just from that, I'd like to imagine it took a lot of dev time trying to make it loyal. I hope so. Oh, so you're not playing with it just yet. It is The update isn't out. I'm playing in VR, just started uh, loving it this far. Oh, you play it in VR? Oh, that's exciting. I bet you that would be a lot of fun. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this Panzer. I don't think there's any really unique weapons other than flamers, if we want to continue leveling a flamethrower. Uh, looks like I would have to. I might just do machine guns and see what happens. Oh, geez, that takes all of its weight, the new machine gun. This thing is so heavy. I will definitely need this backpack. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do much with it. I may not even be able to get a melee attack on this thing. I might have to just settle for a shield. You can't get really another weapon, but you can have a shield, so that is interesting. Maybe I'll do a machine gun shield build for right now, just until we're done testing it. If you guys come up with a name for it, let me know. Uh, where's the upgrades? We'll, we'll start upgrading it. I'm kind of eager to try one of these, the spider-legged versions. I know we'll run out of money, but we're going to get money back today, so it won't be a problem. And hopefully, we'll do a storyline and can capture a couple mechs to get our money ba built back up. That might be my goal for the missions today. Might as well see what these legs can do. If we don't like the mech, we can always use it somewhere else. All new to me and just a big universe to explore, so cool space. Well, I imagine it's really fun to see it in uh, VR. I'd like to experience that. Are you streaming it that way? Oh, nope, you were last doing art. I tried to play, or I tried cross-play on No Man's Sky. And it was fun exploring galaxies with other players on different consoles. Well, that's good. I'm glad they have cross-play. Because lots of games are starting to do that. World of Warships just added that as well. Well, this will just be... Uh, unless one of you comes up with a name for it. We'll just leave it as New Machine. And we'll go to our simulator. I love that music, the little ditty that plays when you go online. We'll take it into Tal Base first. If it does well there, maybe we'll run a Fukushima. That pays better. Need to get some money built back up. Cost us a lot to upgrade this. Oh, this could be an interesting fight here too. Who should we train up a little bit in machine guns? I think... I might put Fam in it, just to see if she gets some stuff out of it. And we'll take Bazooki, because we're still leveling that. Slugbot's a favorite. And Ryoka. Oh yeah, they all have anti-fire, forgot about that. <laughs> So here's a new machine. We're going to put it down. I don't know, right there maybe? Slugbot might not even move. 
<laughs> okay. Let's see. Right off the bat, we're not going to have to move too far, it looks like. Everybody's just kind of crowded up in this one little zone. Oh, there's a helicopter. Uh, and a toy tank. Okay. We did upgrade the grenade launcher, so it's a bit better. See if that helps it. Yep, we actually auto-destroyed one of them. This is going to be a quick mission, because they all just crowded up around us. Oh yeah, double... <laughs> good, my team is good and ready today. Uh, oh, look at the boost. Oh, that's wonderful. They just boost all over the place, don't they? That's good, because I don't want that to get away. Oh, okay, so these mechs are really fast. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. And this uh, should take out Punchbot as a threat, I think. I'm pretty sure that'll end them. Oh, no, it didn't. have a heavy shield to deal with that. There we go. The damage. Uh, I plan on it once I have a better understanding of it. Don't be too absorbed in the game to chat. <laughs> yeah, just kind of forget yourself. I could get that. Yeah, this team is coming along quite nicely. All the way back here. Can fam hit it? Yes, and I got lots of parts done, so that'll level my machine gun quicker. Yeah, this battle will not take very long because the enemy just all kind of sat in one area. I'll just, I know that's kind of a waste, but it's free XP for the grenade launcher. I'm trying to get that accuracy all the way up. Punch bot, go! Well, it's slug bot, actually, because they've got those big batons. <laughs> Which just took off its rocket launcher. Man. You know, that's fine by me. I don't like rocket launchers. Oh, and we got pilot damage. I've been trying to get Ryoga really good at that so we can uh, earn more max in battle. Oh, that flamer is coming along just nicely. I think we'll be able to get to the Fukushima map and actually start doing really well on it. I'm gonna let it hit me, actually. See how it takes damage. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, no Man's Sky already had a mech called the Minotaur, but the one from the update is a new mech that follows you around like a Titanfall. Like in Titanfall. Oh. Well, it sounds interesting either way, and you know me and my affinity for mechs, so I'll, I'm eager to see what they do with that. At some point, I probably would like to check that game out. Uh, as I've never played it before, but it would be interesting to see what it has. I didn't hit it. Oh, for shame. I'll let, I'm going to let the slug bot get it. I figured that might be a body hit with the other arm missing. Okay, well, that went quickly. Uh, oh, there's still one more. It's a tank. 
What if I could shoot through both boxes so I can just boost to it later? Yep, we got rid of both. It'll probably take a shot at me, but... Oh, it didn't? Well, that's terribly interesting. And I don't think I can reach it with this yet. I don't think there's much cause to get over there with the whole team, but I'll do it anyway. I think Ryogo's got this. There we go. I've crashed a few economies in several galaxies by selling a ton of coin, which is one of the ways to cheese the game for credits. <laughs> uh, is chlorine in that high of a demand, huh? Oh, chlorine, the anti-life chemical. Well, that's okay, Pockies. If you figured out a way to get money in the game, it's not really cheesing it. It's just a playstyle. It sounds like you did something very cool. You actually figured out how to get yourself a lot of cash. Which is what we're trying to do right now in the simulator. Or attempting. Uh... I'm going to load up Fukushima, even though I probably shouldn't. This battle is always very hard, but... I think our team's just getting too strong for the other one, but we're still too weak for this battle, so we'll see. I'd like to see how much we can do here. See, I can't really take Slugbot unless they deploy me up top. New machine, bazooki, test. I wonder what the test... I can't remember what was in the test fans are. I know Toadie was pretty good and had a bunch of things. Uh, the test bot was too low in hit points, I think. I'll just put her in the Xenoslav. That should give us a couple items to use. Oh, actually, they did deploy me up top. Well, this is a change of pace. They normally make me go all the way from the down part, which is annoying. Hello, Chef. I hope your day is going well, friend. Welcome in. We're just playing, we're goofing off a little bit in simulators to get some of our money back. Ooh, I'm going to drop it right on. I think that's a missile map down there. I'm going to drop it there anyway. Well, that hurt them a bit. Uh, let's see. This mech, if I recall correctly, uh, that's a missile launcher. I need to get that. Too many hit points. I'm gonna spike it. I didn't change her skills, sadly, so I don't know how much of her stuff will trigger, but... It's a very strong mech. It should do well. Now, can the melee bot get up here to me? Yes, it can. So I have to be a little careful. Not that careful, though. Pilot damage, yay! Okay, let's see if we can do this. I want to get rid of these uh, rocket mechs, quick. Oh well, we got close enough. Oh, it missed. Good. That doesn't use up a shield, I don't believe. Uh, it's going to shoot me at point blank. I'll sh retaliate, actually. I was just going to say, because I actually have a lot of skills, and he only gets one shot. Now, 
The punch bot can't reach me because the other bot's there. Oh, that's interesting. Kind of funny, actually. It'll only be able to engage the Zenislav, I believe. Well, if that's the case, this will go really quick. Uh, I think I'm okay sitting there. All right, can't put the missile launcher down there anywhere where it will really count. Hmm. Can I drop it on this side? I like to try and get as many guys hit as possible, but it doesn't always work. I'll just drop it over there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone. Wherever you are, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Welcome in. We're going to be playing Front Mission 3 this morning. And we're in Shanghai. And we're going to run some simulators. And... Oh. The, the, the button has been pushed. Oh, well, welcome in, Mr. Watts. Welcome in, Chef. Uh, Poggies, welcome in. Wow, everybody got here quick today. Um... Hello? Oh, hold on. My chrono watch is dinging. Oh my. Uh, it appears that I was lost in time for about an hour. Uh, oh, thankfully it was only a couple seconds your time. I forget your reality here is a bit different than the one I come from. Um, hmm. Well, Jantex Bot has initiated the chrono watch to resync me with your timeline. It'll just take me a few minutes to get caught up here. Now, I wonder who hit the red button. My, my, I had no idea <clears throat> that it had mana built up into it. I guess there was enough for a decent-sized charge this time. I must have been making some people very happy. As I found in your world, mana comes from people being happy. <laughs> uh, don't know who that could have been. It was just a glitch. Resyncing the time. Yes, Gentex Bot's working on it. In just a few minutes, it seems. Oh, I was in the middle of a fight. Uh, uh, Fukushima. Uh, you'd been streaming already for a couple minutes. Okay. I think I have now gotten caught up. Let's see if I can get everything back and restored. Hmm, I wonder who hit that button. I don't know. Poggies has been kind of a culprit lately. Perhaps it was them. But thank you for alerting me. Um, it seems Mr. Watts was unaffected by the time sink, so they, they caught that the red button was pushed, but it seems we don't know who did it. Mysteries everywhere abound. Who indeed? I know. Who could have done such a thing? Well, somebody obviously realized that the button had charged, so I don't know who that could have been. Free shot at this thing before it gets over here. Can the flamer reach down on it? <gasps> Ooh, the flamer can reach down on it. How lovely. That's a punch bot, so you gotta get its health down quickly. It still has more health than most of my team, actually. Oh look, we took out the other one's gun. Good. Can't shoot at me anymore. I like that. The punch bot didn't move, strangely enough. It just stood there? Well, isn't that odd? I'm pretty sure it could actually attack me. Oh, 
Well, you can shoot at this thing then. Is it anti-impact? I couldn't remember. Ah, yes. Well, that's not great. It's anti-impact. And Ryogo and them kind of have their hands full fighting this thing. I'd like it if double shot the trigger on it. She's not very good with shotgun, but I'm still going to take free hits at it. Uh, let's see. That thing tried to take my arm. Also got a lucky body hit. I'll just kill. That way, I have plenty of XP for this. Or AP, rather. Uh, felt like a deja vu. Yeah, it always does a little bit. I get left with that feeling often. You humans came up with a very creative word for that. Oh, where should I drop this? I don't think I can drop it anywhere, honestly. Well, I'm no longer worried about that. This thing's the thing that has all the hit points, so we're going to go after it. Everybody who's over here has impact, so we can't do anything to it. Their pilot got a bit scorched, though, which is interesting. Ah, they can still retaliate. That's okay, we'll force them to burn off all of their uh, points. And it's no more. So far, we're doing much better, but that's because we deployed up top. This battle goes a lot smoother when you're on the top part. If you have to fight your way up here, oh, it's just so hard. Her shotgun skill not up to the stuff that it should be, but that's okay. Oh, I can't hit it there. Interesting. I thought I had an angle on it. 16, I'll take it. <laughs> Just in case. Ah, that's what it wanted. It wanted to get up here to this thing. Okay. It was so desperate to target them that it ignored everything else. Well, that's strange. And probably not good for it. Don't know why it did that. Because now it just gets blown up. That's good. She didn't have much shotguns anyway. That could help later. I think I'll just move them there for the time being. We still need repairs here. Uh, this battle is still too hard for anything short of that. Can't hit that. We'll have to go over here. That one just surrendered. Okay, that works. It has a 5% chance to hit me. Okay, let's see if it gets 5%. Good. No, it didn't. <laughs> that would have been a bit upsetting. Ah, now we can go back to this. Because the enemy is actually where it should be. Uh, should hit everything right here. Yeah. Uh, didn't do as much as I'd hoped. That other one still survived. Ah, but now I can reach that on the corner and it can't get to me. If, for some reason, the AI won't blow up boxes to get to you normally. In storyline, they will. 
but they don't do so here. Hello, Morgan. I hope your day is going well. Thank you for the lurk, friend. I'll just position everybody around that section. Oh, if I would have had the box. <laughs> Couldn't do anything anyway. Oh well. Ah, now it's getting hits. Well, I think I have one more grenade I can lob at that tank. Not bad. Uh, oh, look at this, 97%. I don't know how that works, but I'm going to use it. It'll probably blow up the box, but that's okay. It's letting me shoot around the box, I think. That's interesting. And now fire damage. This battle went so much different than the last time I was here. That means our team has truly gotten crazy powerful, but that's good because I think all we fight is pretty much imaginary numbers. Aha, you walked into a shotgun blast and I got initiative. <laughs> that's where initiative can be really sneaky. I was just gonna say, we learned that. Oh, good. Well, that was convenient. No more bombs. That's okay. I could start working them maybe down this way. I don't think I can hit the boxes. Nope, can't get them. Just seeing. I still don't understand how I'm shooting past that box, but it's quite interesting. Maybe spider legs do it? It does look like they sidestep. Everybody's getting good XP here. That thing surrendered, but it's not going to get the chance. I hope I get a lot of money for this, because I don't want to be here too terribly long in Shanghai. But there's all those really cool parts that we can buy. Well, it appears our team is definitely ready, though, for the next half of the game. That one's just going to surrender. Yep, there you go. Well, we beat Fukushima. We did not lose anyone, so I did my goal. This was kind of what I was intending to do. I wanted to keep trying this and see. Only 700. I think I've gotten more from Tal Base. Well, it's possible we've just gotten to the point where it doesn't uh, give much XP anymore. I wonder what of those mechs would be very useful. Uh, let me go see. Uh, where is my... Uh, Fruity Spruce sent me this message. I use it every now and then. I should actually put it up in the Discord because it's really useful. It's got all the battle skills. Of course, I don't know how many people actually would use it. Has anyone else tried Front Mission? It's kind of one of my goals streaming this. I want to get everybody into Front Mission. Um, I suppose that won't be a problem when they do the remakes. I still can't pre-order it. Last I checked. Which is kind of a shame. So we can buy the German parts here, right? Like the Wood, uh, Getty. Actually, I can buy different ones online. Okay, so you can get the German ones in the shop. You cannot get them in the internet store. Good to know. 
I'll take that repair. Oh, we've only got 3,000. No. Let's go back to that little shop so I can get the names of the mechs. I love that picture in the background. Just because it's like a, I don't know, like a mech transport or perhaps something that elevates them. Something that helps the person who runs the store, I suppose. Bye. Ah, yeah, it's the mechs like this one. I was checking their stuff out. I kind of wanted to see uh, if any of these were worth buying. I think the whisk is, and I think this one is. Let's see what that one can learn. <gasps> Nam! Hello, Tinsir. Hello. Hello, hello. Let me get you a shout out, Ben. I had a lot of fun with you last night in World of Warships. I was actually looking at another screen and I heard your uh, entry music. Thank you for the hydrate. What does this one have? Oops. Uh, this one gets... Well, the body can learn up to zoom three. The arms can learn aim. Uh, legs get hard knocks. Well, the legs sound interesting. Other than that, the other didn't look too good. What is the whisk? Uh, defense class, no, Salvo. Oh, Salvo might be interesting. Evade. What about the... I'm looking up all the mechs on here right now to try and figure out what they give us. Leg game and brace. Eh, not that great. Also not great. Most of them are like defensive skills, actually, interestingly enough. XP4 is interesting on the legs for the Verindy. I don't think I'll need to buy any of this stuff, uh, because as far as I can tell, we have better. The spider mech that we're using currently and testing with is pretty good. Oh, thank you for the hugs, Nim. Okay, so we don't have to buy any of that. So the only thing I'm interested in is getting the skills off of this one. I don't have a name for it yet. And I'm not sure I'd keep it with a machine gun. We're just using that right now for skill ups. What was its body part? I should have looked that up just to see what the triggers were. That's the Getty. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> I'll actually put this up here so that everybody who's watching, if you want to see, here's the list that I'm checking. I know some of them by heart, but there's a lot of them that I don't. And different playthroughs, you get different advancers. So just looking at some of the ones that I've not used particularly much or often. Let's see what the Getty learns. I remember it was something interesting. That's why we actually went through the trouble to get the parts. Oh, that's what it was. I wanted to get firing squad from the arms. You just need ranged weapons and allies within ranged weapons. Yeah, revenge three and firing squad were both good. I don't know how, that's probably really expensive, but. But we can try it here regardless. Okay. I want to do one more battle and see if we can't get the Gettys uh, part, maybe. Simulator. 
Well, let's try Fukushima again. It seems like we're strong enough to actually do this battle. Once we unlock the real battles, that'll be a different story, because you can actually lose those. We'll take them. The new machine? Sure, why not? I actually need to put them in hers so that we have items. In other words, we're not going to have any items to use. And this one. Okay, should be good there. Ah, they put us on the bottom again. That always, that's always bad when they put you on the bottom. I should have probably gone anti-fire. I'm not sure how well this will work. When you start up top, it's not a big deal. It is a problem, however, when you're all the way down here. Where can Bazooki go? Probably not that far. It's okay, they have a grenade launcher. Really should focus the uh, missile launcher guys, but not gonna be able to do that right off the bat. Well, that hurt that one, but it didn't hurt anyone else. Ah, this one can get up there. Just barely. Oh, I can't hit either one of them with that. Well, we can take that box out real quick. So I don't have to wait for it on the next turn. Now I get to take a lot of damage probably from missiles. Nope, I'm gonna shoot back at you. Oh, well, that was bad. I need to save the shields, though. Oops, they have another rifle up there. Good thing I blocked that one. No counter to missiles. I think they've only got one missile launcher on this side. We'll see. Ow. They hit so hard at this tier. Well, that hit my body, so I may not be able to do exactly what I wanted. No, I can hit this and I'll heal them with the other. Tearing that mech up, but I'm not doing much to the other one. Get him, fam! At least has uh, no anti-pen on that one. Oh, they might take this one out if I don't get down there and heal. Eh, if they do, they do. I want to take the opportunity to attack this while I can attack back. Of course it hit the body. Why wouldn't it? Uh, <clears throat> might lose Ryogo's machine. Can't afford to lose this one. And yet it still comes after me with hard fist. That's amazing. <clears throat> oh dear, I didn't think I'd run out of AP. I need to get more AP on that character. Oops, hit my desk, so I was trying to itch my leg. Good, the missile missed. <laughs> missed missile. Uh, if I take them up, can they heal? I really hope so. Yes. That one's healed up. Let's see, what can I go after? I'm just gonna see what the percentage is. <clears throat> well, it's not horrible, it's not great either. But they're going to shoot at us regardless, so we'll go that way.
I'll just end it there, because I don't think I can get much more done. Can't hit it really well. Mm. That's what I was talking about. These uphill battles, really bad. Gives the enemy way too much time to come after us. I think I have enough for one more shield block. I'll save it for a missile launcher. Oh no, it hit my body. I didn't think it would hit me. And the missile ended up going after Ryogo again anyway. Oh, I'd hit the legs at least. Well, I'm gonna have to use another repair there. That's slowing us down just a bit. I have allies in range. It hasn't triggered yet. Which is what we're waiting on. We wanted to see if we could get that skill. <gasps> oh, she has zoom now. She, I don't think she's ever had that. That's good. I don't need it right off the bat. That's why I'm not going to take it. I didn't know this. The flames don't take the boxes out. That's interesting. Oh, it did actually. Okay. I was wondering because I hit the box like twice. I thought it might try to take it out. Finally, this thing's annoying me. It's gone. And we got a skill up on it, so that means it's easier uh, to hit things at higher level targets, like these guys. Oh, you're coming after me. Interesting. I think it's a fist, right? Yeah, priority. So even going uphill, we're doing pretty good. And the Sketty's not bad, but I haven't triggered the skill yet. I have to try and keep the Getty next to something that can also hit. At least that's what it said the conditioning was. Oh, Ryo goes down. Of course, to get a body hit. Oh, well. I have the Odin equipped at the moment. We'll just use that. Should have enough for one more shield block on them for AP. Can't hit anything there. Takes way too long to get up this road. Okay. But we'll try. Or maybe we'll get it through. Oh, I can counter that with the Odin? Yeah, it won't do anything. I'll just block. Already lost one. Gotta be a little careful. The uh, imaginary numbers missile launcher. Oh, it's so damaging. That's why you have to take them out so quick. In the beginning of the game, it's all about getting those punch bots done in, but... Now it's all about doing this thing and then keeping it from hitting me. Although it just cornered itself, so... Wasn't sure I'd actually hit it there. Can I drop this somehow sneaky so it doesn't get to the other side? Yes, there we go. Oh, I took half its hit points. That's good. And enough to block it. The grenade launcher? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Never used it in many of my playthroughs. Kind of regret that I didn't. Oh, I should have saved. I didn't actually think it could hit me there, but it did. 
I forgot I'm diagonal three, I guess, away. Now it can't hit me. Oh, that's right, I can shoot at this. It, it can't punch up this high. Let's see who else can shoot at what. No, I guess I'll just shoot at this now. Should be okay to hit both and or either. That one could shoot back. This is just a punch. I'll take the punching. Now what? so odd that it actually came all the way here for that. Oh well, I will shield it. I don't know. They really don't like uh, Suzuki. It's funny. That stunned it, actually, because it lost its arm. Good. It's kind of a trying fight without Ryogo. Block, I'm not taking chances. Good thing we blocked because it did hit. That's okay, we can have them just shoot this. And they'll take it out, good. I don't have to waste any time on it. And a pilot damage to boot. Wow. This is why I don't mind having that level 1 shotgun. If you chains together, it can still take out a knife. That was so much XP. <laughs> uh, and they're almost done with their machine gun, or their uh, stats, so interesting. And you'll be no more with your arms. That's what you get for running around shooting me the whole match. Now I can just sit there. That tank, uh, that's a long shot. I think she could do this whole round by herself, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh wait, I can have uh, Suzuki could probably take the box out. So I'll leave them up here, I guess. They're not going to be useful for too much more without their grenades. <gasps> Hit or miss? I didn't even know I could learn that on this one. Oh, the arms, I changed them. It still chains, even though it missed. Hmm. Don't believe we'll take that skill. It was just good for chaining. Level one shotgun, by the way, fighting upper tier enemies. Bam, and rate of fire up works for machine guns as well as shotguns. Oh, now you guys turn on your skills. I needed these earlier. Chain Zoom. Zoom 1 is such a good ability for chaining. <laughs> Should be good XP. Eh, it wasn't too bad. Oh, I guess I can just shoot at this for XP. I forgot. Almost forgot about you. Well, we cleaned the floor with them. We did lose one, though. See, I can't do this reliably without losing one of them. I'll feel truly accomplished when we can do it without losing anything at all. A zoom on a shotgun.
Do 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 do. Zoom one again. That's fine. She doesn't have. I don't think I have very high machine guns. So what I do is just get to B. I think. She can take some parts out. She'll go up to a B plus. I think. Very good. Now it's safe to shoot through the box. Oh, didn't take the box out. Let's see, who gets the kill on that? Well, we'll still have the tank to take down. Which, I think the tank's actually piloted by imaginary numbers. Oh, no it isn't. I thought maybe it was. That will help the machine gun skill. Ah, there we go. Hello, Saito Sinkin. How are you doing, friend? I hope well. Good morning to you as well. Lurking and working. Well, welcome in. Enjoy your lurk, friend. Oh, that was an odd place to shoot. That happens with tanks for some reason on this ramp. I've seen that before where you can't hit them even though you're right in front of them. Shouldn't take too long to take this out. I say that, but it's, uh, I think it has anti-impact, so. It fams all the way back up here. Thank you, Nem, for getting the shoutouts. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, I got to catch a little of Saito's stream last night. I was unloading the trucks. Uh, when I came in, Saito, I was literally sitting down because the whole line was done. Our back room line was done. So I had a couple minutes to uh, kill off until the truck got there. Uh, oh no, I don't have a shotgun. What should I do? Nothing, probably, because I can just go back here. Uh, I think it's going to take them too long to kill it with the shotgun, so I'll just go here, shoot, and then bring down the Getty. Much better than yesterday. I saw your post in Discord, friend. I didn't get to... You looked fine on stream the other day, so I don't know what happened, but... I hope that you are better than you were... We all have those days. Ah, we completed it, but... Yeah, I had seen your post in Discord and offered a hug emote up. 850. Yeah, we're not getting the money, I thought. I thought I'd get a thousand. Well, we did lose a Vanzer. Ah, oh, that's probably what happened. Okay, so we're at the hour mark. We didn't do too bad. Uh, I guess, I don't think I'm gonna buy any of those German ones. I might buy one and just keep it aside. Need a repair. Somebody else needed items, I don't remember which one. I think it was one of the test fanzers actually. I don't think they come up in the list. No, they're all full of items. If we need them, they've got items. So that's not bad. <clears throat> oh, of course, Saito. Thank you for redeeming the stretch. Yeah, we're going to take a break here just a minute. Paladin, how are you doing, friend? 
I'm taking a stretch at the moment thanks to Nem, so my avatar will be a little goofy. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully, eventually, I'll get full body and that won't be a problem. You'll see me stretching. Um, oh, I love that emote. <laughs> More reason to go and follow Saito. You get this wonderful emote. I just love it. It's so cool. The new animated emotes, I'm so glad everybody gets them. It's led to so many interesting ones being made. I have a couple being worked on. Uh, Mayor Emmy will have them up next week, I think. I look forward to seeing all of those emotes she's creating. So we don't need anything online at this point. I think we just need the... Uh, I might buy one part from there. The legs sounded interesting on that other Vanzer. I believe... I think... Uh, we'll check. This is the fastest way to do it. Why not, right? <gasps> Paladin also plays Tales of Symphonia. That is such a good game. Is um, hmm, that game sounds? I think, if I remember right, that was a PS One game a long time ago. Did they remake it? Oh, it was remade on the GameCube. Oh, because I don't, I didn't play it on the GameCube. I played it on the, uh, I think it was the PlayStation. Oh, it's on Steam now, too. Interesting. How is it on the Game? or do you play directly on the GameCube, Saito? And Paladin? Oh, no problem. I thought I'd seen, uh, Saito mention that you were a streamer. Tales of Destiny on the PS1. Thank you, Nan. Well, welcome in, Paladin. I hope you enjoy your stay here, friend. They just ported it to the PC. Oh, okay. And you play yours on the PC. Oh, okay. I, uh... There's a game that's actually just been ported to the PC that I can't wait to play. It's called Shadow Madness. If you get a chance, look into that. One's an original. It was a uh, a game by Crave Entertainment. And no one really knows about it because it was released in between all the really good titles like Ledger of Dragoon and Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> so it kind of got sandwiched to death by uh, the bigger titles. But I'm looking forward to playing it. I think, unless I'm mistaken, it's probably what's going to replace Ledger of Dragoon when we beat Dragoon. If you haven't heard of this game, I will put up the info there, because this is one of my favorite games from that era. Tales of Destiny is not related to Symphonia, however there is a Tales of Fantasia. The supposed prequel to Zivu. Ooh. I need to be able to sit through one of those whole streams. I know the few times I've popped in, you look like you were having an amazing amount of fun. It's related to the sense there are Tells games. <laughs> Where is, so we're at the hour mark. I'm gonna take a short break, get rid of the commercials. Everybody should do a self care. And I will be back in just a few minutes. Thank you for getting the socials, Inquisitor.
Alrighty, I'm back. Thank you for excusing me. I had to take a bit of a self-care break. Get caught up on chat. Uh, Saito went into lurk. Thank you, friend, for the lurk. Have a good day at work. My favorite tells so far would be uh, Biseria. <gasps> Ooh, Michi Hado plays Biseria, I believe. I think that's... I've seen her play that. I think she's still in the middle of her playthrough, actually. Okay. I'm debating whether we should leave Shanghai or if I should run some more battles and try to get that other part. I'm just kind of having fun today running battles. Don't get me wrong, I love the storyline, but I also like grinding. <laughs> uh, I think I am going to do another test battle. Tai Pai doesn't pay very much. Tal Base is still my favorite. I uh, thank you for the welcome back, Nem. I should be progressing the story along, but... I don't know why I just feel like doing this right now. Kind of a lazy day. Probably because I had to work all night. Oh, you know what? I haven't done anything with Alyssa's machine for a while. Oh, but she's not got anything. Wait, can I put her in the Zenislav pack? Ah, there we go. Now I can do something. Let me just quickly throw them down. The story of this game is really good, but sometimes you just need a break from it. That's what we're doing. I might progress it in one part, one little chapter for me. Oh, that's cheeky. I can just drop it there. Although Tal Base isn't going to be too challenging anymore, except that we're using new Vanzers. Oh, that barely hit. Ah, I'm trying to get the Getty to... So the body supposedly has a chain attack. Hasn't worked out yet, though. I'll do seven. So I have some AP left for retaliation. Oh, goody. We get double shot anyway, so that'll work. Seven did more than enough anyway. And we ended it with the shotgun. I got that little trick from Fruity. The flamethrower and shotgun. Although I'd only seen it a couple times, so I wasn't sure how effective it was. Actually, I'm going to send the mech off here to go get these. The Zen Slip can do it. Boop. Can't run away. I was just going to say, it's probably doomed. Uh, shield. That's okay. I dropped a cheeky bomb on it. I guess it can do the same to me. Oop, no counter against the helicopter. Forgot you were over there. It's okay, we're going to need a lot of cash because I believe, could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure it's after this section. There's another upgrade section and it's expensive. Aha, I used all your AP. And I'll probably, yep, get a chain. It's so funny, a level one shotgun. I think I'll take it all the way through the game. <laughs> Just because I've been doing quite well with it. Uh, 
Uh, Ryogo had XP and it still didn't trigger. Hmm. Does Ryogo have to attack it? Maybe it's Ryogo triggers it by attacking. Nope, still didn't do it. Mm. I've also noticed in this playthrough, Alyssa's campaign, the enemies do have a lot of anti-fire. Not in this particular map, but they do normally. Those spikes get solid damage. Yeah, it's gonna drive away. <laughs> they can't fight you in close combat. I didn't get to drop but one bomb in this. I'm dropping another one on it. Did destroy something. Oh, that worked. I still don't understand the advantage of the spider map. I think that's why I didn't use them very much in most of my playthroughs. Oh, actually, Alyssa should probably get ready to boost this way, because the helicopter will try to run. No, you get shield. For 45 damage. The shields are overpowered. <laughs> it's really bad when the higher level opponents have them. Uh, don't really need to do anything but drop another one of these, probably. Why not? We didn't use it very much. Oh, imagine if I can get that up to 100% accuracy. That would be nice. Zoom! My quick, the big question is, so we're on a playthrough plus of this game, and the one thing I never did, typically whenever I would start a new playthrough, I would start Nemas, do Alyssa's campaign, and then that was it. I would just end my playthrough and start over a fresh playthrough. I wonder if it'll let me go back to Emma's playthrough with that team. That would be a little overpowered, but it would be fun. Might be useful for our uh, finding all the website playthrough. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shadow Madness is out. I think... Did it actually come out today? It did. Oh, it is 10% off. Ends February 22nd. Well, that's fine. It'll probably get cheaper than even at 13 bucks isn't bad, though. I might get that later. Like I said, that'll probably... I'd said this earlier. Shadow, Shadow Madness will probably replace Dragoon when we're done with Dragoon. What other maps haven't we seen in a while? Well, the test map I could do probably by myself with one Mac. Just grinding money today. Maybe if I'm up to it, I might stream this again later and move the storyline a bit forward. New machine. Are we still leveling new machine? Yeah, I suppose so. That was actually a pretty good fight last round. I think I just have to have two backpacks. Although we are up top. Nah, that'll still work. Although I think they put a punch bot up here with me. Oh, that's not good. Two punch bots. Well, the shield bots can deal with that. How 
how do we best deal with the shield boss? The one down there is not going to be able to get to me, so I'm not too worried about it. Hmm. This is going to be tricky for the blast placements on these. I really hope this does some good damage. No, oh, it wasn't too bad. I might just end up running away from the punch bots or forcing them into a bad situation. That would also work. Can the flamethrower shoot over? Oh, I thought... Nah, I should have known that wouldn't happen. Oh, I know. I can make it so that this punch bot can only shoot at uh, the other one. I've got it. Because they can't see it. Oh, I can't see it from there either. Oh, well, at least take shots at this one. And we'll move the shield bot here, because I don't think it can walk past us. If I'm right. And it won't blow up the other, so we can sit there pretty safely. This is where having lots of different weapons on your team pays off. Now, let's see if we can survive the onslaught of punch bots that are going to be thrown at us. If you hit me, I'm going to be so upset. You have, like, no accuracy. Okay. 22%? Nah. I'm saving for missiles. It did manage to get to Suzuki. Ah, that hurt. Oh, well, at least they also have a shield. Should I shoot at it or... No, I'm going to shield. They're really hard hitting. Missed, though. Ah, and then one more hit on that uh, mech there. Should take it out. Actually, the grenade launcher might do it just fine and dandy. D rating on it. Very good. Oh, that didn't take it out. I'm going to have to do this manually. Oh, I've got to move down one more. It looks like... Oh, there it is. I need to move here. I still get the desired result, so not bad. been nice if Suzuki had hit it with the bombs had just taken out its arms. Ah, it still has its missiles. Now I have to waste another round on it. Oh, one of those is down. And she got a bunch of XP for it. Who is uh, hurt? Anyone? No, nah, nobody's hurt really yet. She gets another zoom. Probably could put that up. No, the AP down is really good. Oops. I don't think they're going to hit. Shield was probably not needed for that. This one would have been better. I was just going to say, it has a chance to actually hit. <gasps> no, it's going to take me out. Ah, took my arm off. That was my bad. I wasted my AP on that. I needed to save it for the other mech.
All right. It trapped Suzuki pretty much in here. Oh, and I don't have a restore. Even worse. Uh... Well, I gotta hit something. This went from good to bad. <laughs> Hello, Caitlin. How are you doing, friend? I hope well. That didn't go the way I intended it. At least not quite. No skills either. Oh well, hopefully she can heal Ryogo. No, all she has is a restore. Well, the items mess me up on that one. I don't think I can hit it from there either. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose Ryogo again. Yeah, I knew it. They got lucky. That was like 10% chance to hit it. They still hit it. All the punch bots. Ah, this one's gonna be unwinnable because they've got that one pinned in. Can't do anything to the punch bots, sadly. We did what we could. I told you, I want to play Fukushima until I can do this without worry. I can't get close to it without taking something out. Can't take anything out. The three mechs I have aren't very good at shooting at these things. be a different story if I could get to the other one. Did you see the Discord message? Yes, yes I did. I had to stream and everything so I didn't get to look at that yet. And last night was truck night. Well I do have a repair, I just don't have anything else for this. I don't know where to take the repair, actually. I can't give it to the other one. Because this mech is going to go down, so... Ah, there we go. That's better. But yes, after the stream, I will get to it. I just blocked and I shouldn't have again. It's just trying to blow through all my shields so I can take this thing out. And it did. I figured this one was going to go down too. Uh, let's see. Can it hit me up top here? I don't think so. 102% might do it. Not quite. Well, it's main arm's gone. Don't think I can eject down there. Nah, that's what I was hoping for. Still can't eject there either. I'm out of options on this file. 12%, let's hope it doesn't hit.
Well, that one's gone. There's nothing left on it. Legs. Oh, well, it did deny the other one hitting it. Oh, can't do anything there. Oh, that needed to take it out. I doubt this is going to work, but we'll try something. Maybe getting up top will help. Well, that one has no arms, so that that was positive. Fam's going to carry us. Probably should have given her a machine gun earlier on, I guess. Nope, still can't get away from it. <laughs> I was hoping I could. Didn't work. 12%. No, save for the mechs. Oh well, Suzuki, you took a lot of hits for us at least. Their missile launcher ran away, which was interesting. I'm gonna have to hope for a lot of skill triggers there. Because they have a lot of hit points and these characters don't do much damage. They can't do anything because I'm raised up. Okay, good. I was hoping to play it that way, but I wasn't sure. Oh, wait. We'll take this out and it'll bring it closer next round. Oh, you just fool. Yep, that one made the mistake of going up. This was kind of... Uh, it was a little cheeky of me. I was just playing on the AI's ability to not be able to get up here. It's okay, because these were the two characters we brought to get skills and levels. I can't believe it hasn't triggered the skill yet, though. We've both been within firing range this whole time. Nope, doesn't trigger. I have no idea how we're going to get to the missile launcher, though. And there's a guy down below us, too, with a rifle. Well, the one with the rifle, I could start working that way now, I think. I guess we'll go get it first. Oh, that's going to give Pam so much XP. Yeah, she just graduated to Seek rank on that. Come on up here. Nope, it's still not going to go up there. What does it have? A 25% chance. No counter. It still hit, really, 25%. Ah, I guess that is a quarter. getting rid of all the terrain that's in my way. Uh, doo -doo -doo.
If I can just get it to miss a couple times, though, it'll start running out of AP. The missile launcher shouldn't be a problem as long as I can maintain one of them at health. I really don't want to go all the way down there to fight it either. Well, it's other arms. There, now that should take it out. The rate of fire up with the machine gun at that range. I think we did that on their turn as well, so. Yes, so we'll get our AP back and march back all the way to the other side. It's okay, Suzuki was very ahead of everyone, so was Ryogo. Pass the turn. Oh. It'll still have two, three missiles, probably. But we should have enough AP to block for a little while, and I think they have two shields each. Yeah, can still block it. Oof, shall only get one more block and then it's blown off. See, the two shield models survived to the end, so I thought that might work. Ah, still too tight a battle on this, though. Oh well, it can't go anywhere now, and now it can't use missiles. And we're just going to keep shooting it to bits. <laughs> brace? I didn't mean to brace. I heard there was somebody who actually did this with mechs with hard blow. That would take forever on a mission like this. They have so many hit points. Very good. Sadly, lost the two mechs, but we didn't do too bad for what we started with. We were up against those two punch bots, started way too close to us. Let's see, I gotta check something real quick. Looking in the Discord and the other. I should have had this up before. Where is? So I'm pretty sure that. As I said, I was gonna push the story forward, but we're in a town and this is the best place to go for this kind of thing. Uh, as I thought. One second. I guess everybody will see what I was checking. Thought I recognized that name. 
think that is a oh why can't I do that here that's interesting give me name I don't need a nickname. Oh, gosh. The dashboard sometimes is really finicky with me. There we go. Thought that was a bot. <laughs> I had to check it real quick. That bot ban list I have is just massive at this point. So sad, especially that one. It had a lot of views and it had a lot of followers too, it looked like. But it was in 3,000, 4,000 channels. Definitely can't do that as a normal human. I'll go here for a change of pace. I'm still leveling new machines, so I guess we'll take that. Uh, we can go back to Punchbot on this. I haven't been able to get the skill I needed. Let's see, Punchbot should go here. You're going to go eat. Well, enjoy your noms, cat. Thank you. Have a good day, friend. Thank you for stopping by and visiting. Let's start with this one, punch bot. Almost. <laughs> I don't think there's any helicopters, is that first? Maybe one? Yeah, I was gonna say, there's typically at least one helicopter. Both of them. That works. That's convenient. Actually, I'll just use the shotgun and see if we get a free uh, flamethrower from it. Maybe. Nope, not quite. Didn't matter, though. We have it anyway. Uh, should I stay here or go? Actually, I'll disable that so it can't keep running away from punch bot. Until I can figure out which direction we're going. These missiles typically don't hit hard. Yeah. Save it for the punch bot that's ahead of me. I knew that thing was going to target me. go after. Well, definitely somebody needs to go after the helicopter. Ooh, double shot through the wall. That was interesting. Didn't expect it. That one's gone. Pursue that. No, leave it for Punchbot. Probably be best. I'll get the thing that's harassing me. Oh, good. It's ejected. If I wanted to, I could just get in now. 
keep him from doing anything. Double punch, go. Bye. Uh, I'm gonna think after that one would be good. Should I go all the way down? Yeah, I guess we do have one more. There's a set of enemies over there I've got to take care of. Uh, I don't think he hit the helicopter, but I'll drop it there anyway. Uh, actually, it did hit the helicopter. I guess the explosion throws dirt. <laughs> That's weird. I didn't know it could hit a helicopter. Well, that works. Learn something new. Oh, now they're desperately trying to catch up to us. Too little, too late. Didn't have enough hit points left anyway. Yeah, that one's a threat. All right, what are you? Shotgun would do it, but we just keep working up the flamethrower. It's over 100% accuracy, I think, when I'm in front of stuff. We are the imaginary numbers. <laughs> oh, this thing. That's gonna be the only pain in the butt is the uh, last guy here. Should shoot at it, but I'll get that with the other two. Punch bot's still up there. They surrender in simulator mode. There's no reason you don't get XP for it. And you don't capture the vans or either. Get it, Punchbot. Sluggo. Oh, jeez. That thing's not having any luck. That normally happens to me. Get ejected and then get stunned. might just take it out with the slug bot. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I don't even have to worry about it. Well, that battle went well. A lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, actually, I got more money for... I guess because of the speed that we did it in. I wonder, I'm just curious. This is not going to go well for the enemy. I have a feeling I'll do this in about four minutes. <laughs> like a couple turns. This is the original one. Oh gosh, it's all toy cars. Yeah, this is the first one that you start with. I was just curious to see how fast we could get it done. I should just make a whole team of grenade launchers. Level 1 shotguns and grenade launchers. Why? Because it would be funny. Do I hit the to two toy cars? Or that? Nah, I'll, do I'll split it there. Oh, shockingly, that didn't take much damage. I bet you a shotgun will do it. I'm trying not to use all its AP because I'm going to get the Getty maybe to trigger. Yeah, they don't even do 7 damage in the test facility. Toy car can't move. 
I didn't expect this to be anything fancy. I was just trying something. Smash the car. There we go. <laughs> uh, this isn't even going to take a couple minutes. Oh, really, little toy car? You're coming after me. Oh. See what he can do. Still hurts. A little bit. Oh, I probably would have gotten a trigger on that if it had more health. I'm actually not going to counter. I'm trying one last time to get the Getty to trigger. It's a team attack thing. Nope, didn't trigger it. Eh, Suzuki can just drop theirs on top of the other car. Car's almost gone. Uh, that one's definitely gone. Four. Just gonna hit it once. That was just 4 AP into the flamethrower. I didn't even feed it the full amount. It still took it out. Ooh. <gasps> Sluggo, you can't reach it. I needed you to do that so I could leave it. Oh, well, it's surrendered. Yeah, I know. It's going to hit Sluggo. <laughs> There's nothing else here that I would like to get XP with for that little bit of hit points. Ah, oh, it didn't even do anything. Uh, as I thought, that went really quick. Test battle will probably never get used unless we just take one, two people in. That's fine. Oh, I love this music, though. Did everybody get their... Oh, you know what? I don't... Did I buy items after that last Fukushima fight? Probably went through that whole thing without a bet. Item. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's a little bop music. It's good. Okay, I think everyone had parts. This one's a backpack machine, I think. Hello, Tactical. How are you doing today, friend? I hope well. Do 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 do. Ah, oh. yeah. We're just getting ready to wrap up. Tactical, you caught me right at the end, friend. <clears throat> As I was telling everybody, last night was kind of long. And I didn't sleep very well. I think it's because we had a storm here locally. So I need to take a little bit longer nap, get some lunch, and then lay down for a little bit. But how are you doing, Tactical? I hope well. How's the uh, Modern Warfare going? <clears throat> Typical. Oh, no. You catch plenty of my streams. Don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm sorry that you happen to come over while I'm just about to pack up. I always feel bad when people join right at the end. <laughs> it's like, oh, hi, how are you doing? Uh, I'm leaving. Bye. It's okay. You didn't miss any story tactical. Today was a, a shopping day. That's why I put Shanghai shopping. It was just me grinding. I wanted to do some simulator battles. I was very eager to play Front Mission. I just didn't have it up to uh, do continue the story right off the bat. The next storyline segment's a bit long. Oh, I am looking forward to getting some rest. I do have a lot of paperwork to do later, though. 
which is sad, but is what it is. Let me, I'll switch the scenes over. I'm going to go poke around on Twitch, see who, where we can go and hang out for the rest of the afternoon. I'd like to go somewhere, uh, continue a cozy chill vibe. Let me see where we can go. Uh, Zethi's playing Pokemon Legends. Do you guys want to go over there and see some Pokemon Legends? I haven't been over there for a while. I think Nim's probably already getting the raid messages. If not, can you uh, put those up and the raid warning especially? <laughs> uh, I like Zethria and her husband, Alien J-Rod. Uh, but she is definitely an 18 plus channel. <laughs> Uh, it was really good last night. Actually had some good games. <gasps> oh, Tactical. That's wonderful, friend. Well, I'm glad that you're having fun. If you ever want to, you can share your gamer scores and things in the Discord. Um, if there's ever, like, particular... That goes for everybody. If you've got screenshots and gameplay clips uh, and you're on the PlayStation Xbox whatever you're doing, and you want to share them, please feel free to share them in the Discord. I have a lot of places now to put that up. And you could always just put it in the workshop chat, too. Ah, thank you, Nem. Nem got all of our warnings up. Uh, the channel we're going to, definitely 18+. plus. Not really because of content. She just likes to swear a lot. <laughs> but she's a very, very nice person. Uh, PNG tuber. I love her model. Little penguin. So we're going to go over there for a bit, and we'll say hi to her. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day. I might be streaming again at 5. I'll let everybody know in the Discord and on Twitter. If we do, it'll probably be Star Wars. So everybody have a good afternoon and a safe day. And thank you again for joining me.